Today I'm going to do a review on Rapid Set Mortar Mix for use in precast concrete countertops. Hi everybody, I'm Jim Deardorff and this is Detroit DIY. Rapid Set Mortar Mix is made by CTS Cement Manufacturing Corporation and it is not a very usable type mixture for this application um, off the shelf. So what we need to do is modify the mix and Rapid Set Mortar Mix has already um, has some products for you to do that and one is flow control and one is set control so let's talk about the flow control first. The flow control is going to make the mix more liquid. This is available at Home Depot. This is a plasticizer and this can be used in any hydraulic cement. And hydraulic cement is any cement that is a Portland based cement or um, will cure underwater which is Portland based. So this plasticizer can be used in many applications not just rapid set mortar mix. The, you can use up to four packages of flow control per 55 pound bag of mortar mix and what I've discovered is I use two um, and two seemed to be plenty it made it nice and liquid and it um, flowed really nice for us so two you can use up to four but two seemed to work good then the set control because rapid set mortar mix is going to um, start to, to set in 15 minutes you have 15 minutes of work time and it takes its initial cure and its first strength at one hour so that is not enough time to get your cement in the forms, get it vibrated, get the air bubbles out, and, and get everything worked out the way you need it, especially if it's a bigger piece. If it's a smaller piece, you could probably pull it off um, and, and maybe get the air bubbles out. But set control is the way to go. And each bag of set control will slow down the set approximately 15 minutes. But that's variable so it's going to be dependent on the ambient temperature the warmth of the mixing water there's just plenty of things that can kind of alter this and the same thing you can put four bags of this in the mix so what we did was we used ice cold water and two bags of set and two bags of flow now there's some misinformation because I watched some videos on YouTube and I've heard them say that you cannot use these together. I emailed Rapid Set Mortar Mix or CTS Cement Manufacturing Corporation and they informed me that you can use these together. So um, before we move on to the next part just real quick here. What I've discovered is, is it's, they say that you can put this in the mix water or you can put it directly in the mix after you've mixed it up with the water. So we use 3.75 quarts of water which is the maximum amount that mortar mix, re mortar mix recommends you use. And we added this to the water, both packages, the first time. And what happened was is it turned to, it got goofy. It turned into like little chunks of plastic. We had to mix it and mix it and mix it for it to, for the water to go clear. And then I noticed that it didn't quite loosen the cement up like I had done before where I added it directly to the mix. Um, also, in one instance when I was doing some samples and just kind of playing with this mix, I put the color in the mixing water and I put a package of each of this in the mixing water and it started fizzing like Alka-Seltzer and everything went really weird. So I've discovered that the best thing that you can do is add your water to your mix, take your drill paddle, mix it up, add your flow, add your set, then add your color last. And then none of the goofy stuff happens and the mix stays very loose. And, and very usable. So let's get on to the strength. So the strength of this cement is according to the bag without any of these modifiers well maybe this one but not this one. This mix will be workable for 15 minutes. 
in one hour it will have a strength of 2500 psi this mix has a very early high strength in three hours 4000 psi in 24 hours 5000 psi in seven days 5500 psi and a final in 28 days of 6500 psi this is going to change those early um, set um, psi's so it will not attain 2500 psi in one hour when you use this nor will it attain 4000 psi in three hours however in 24 hours you will probably be there so it's it's going to slow things down so in other words in 24 hours you will be close to that 5000 psi which means really and truly a smaller countertop you could take it and remove it from the form safely in 24 hours using set control so some of the the two of the videos that i've seen online i've only seen two um, i've done a little bit of research on it um, are saying you can take it out of the the form in one hour and you probably could if you didn't use this but guys you need this because this is going to um, this is going to give you a, a lot of extra work time, get those air bubbles out, some vibrate time, some trawling time. It's going to give you, it's going to help you out immensely. So, and uh, one of my other contacts with mortar mix, I asked them how much color I could put in each 55 pound bag. And they informed me that you could put up to one pound of color. So in the next few weeks, we're going to do some videos highlighting this mix and some countertops that we're going to make. In those countertops, I used five and a half ounces of color to, to get a light gray finish. Um, so the, to put one pound in, you could really get some dark, dark color if, you, if that's what you so desire. So it, it is very usable for the dark colors. And what makes it usable? Mortar mix is structural between a half inch and six inches. So at an inch and a half thick, it does attain its structure, which means it's a good choice for pre-cast concrete countertops, even cast in place countertops because they're an inch and a half typically thick. So it'll have its structural strength at that thickness. Um, and this stuff is pretty tough, guys. I, I'm surprised. The, one of the countertops that we poured we um, put it in, we set it in place. We set it on top of the cabinets after five days. It was 61 inches by 42 inches, probably the about the biggest two-man pour that you could do. We, it was heavy. We struggled to move it pretty close to 300 pounds. I believe it was five bags of mix. After five days, we carried it like a sheet of plywood um, and I'm sure that it, it had some sag in the center while we were carrying it. It did not crack. It didn't. It was just unbelievable, guys. This stuff is, is pretty, uh, it's pretty amazing. And the, its uses are just endless. But however, today we're just talking about the countertops. But um, its uses are endless. If you are, you're in Home Depot, kind of look at the bag and read on it. And uh, you'll see this stuff's pretty amazing. So... In, in the next um, thing I wanted to talk about was when this starts to set with the, like I say, with the set control, it's going to slow it down. But when it starts to lose its watery sheen, it has to be water cured. And what I mean by water cured is you have to spray it with water until it attains a structural strength. So when you're using the set control, that may be two hours. So by the time you finish pouring it, we had to wait probably close to an hour before, uh, maybe 45 minutes, before we put the final trowel on the bottom of it. And then it took another maybe 20 minutes for it to start to lose its sheen. And then I kept it wet for, the, for another two, two and a half hours. Um, so that kind of changes when you use the set control. And what I mean by keep it wet is just fill a spray bottle with water and just keep spraying it and keep that surface wet. So that, and the, the thing is, is this stuff gets hot when it sets. You can sit your hand on it. In fact, it was even steaming a little bit 
because it was a little colder outside when we poured it and we had the door open to help buy us some more time. So, um, you know, like I say, start small guys, start small, use this mix, make you some little patterns. If you haven't seen my video, sampling rapid set mortar mix, um, counterface pattern techniques, give it a watch. Gives you some real good ideas of what you can do with this mix. How easy it is to use. And, you know, everybody will say start small, start small. But don't be fooled when you go big or bigger thinking that it's going to be just the same um, amount of ease. Because it's not. It, things are going to happen a little faster and you got to be on top of it just a little bit better. Merely because you're, you're mixing more cement and you're making a bigger piece. So, anyway guys, I think this is an outstanding material. I highly recommend it. It is an excellent choice for a big box store product to make your concrete countertops with. So, get out there and get it done. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, click on one of these two videos that are going to pop up right here. And I'd like to give a special thanks to Tony Iconelli and Brett Wimmer because none of this could happen without them.